Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we do some practice examples on geometric mean given frequency distribution. These are just practice examples. The concept about geometric mean, how to calculate the geometric mean was already discussed in our last class. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. Uh, so how we calculate the geometric mean given frequencies this is the frequency distribution x 1 2 3 4 5 6 some values are given 1 occurred 2 times that is what frequency means 2 occurred 3 times 3 occurred 2 times that is what frequencies means so what's the equation of geometric mean how we calculate the geometric mean we multiplied 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 but 1 occurred 2 times means we have to do multiplication 1 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 2 occurred 3 times 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 that is what we have to do in our geometric mean this can be written like the equation x1 x1 power f1 means if x1 is 1 it has to be multiplied 2 times means 1 multiplied by 1 that can be written as x1 power f1 x2 power f2 so on xn power fn whole power 1 by capital N. What's this capital N means? N is equal to sigma, I is equal to 1 to N. Frequency, count all the frequencies. That is what total N means. Small n, total small n means number of uh, data points we are having. So that is how we will calculate. This is the equation to calculate for the geometric mean if you are having the frequency distribution. So for this example, 1 square multiplied by 2 cube multiplied by 3 square multiplied by so on. This is how and the capital N means 1 by 12. So if you calculate all the summation of all these frequencies, the frequencies values is the frequency values is 12. So that's by 1 by 12. If you calculate this geometric mean is 2.826. Now we do one practice example. The geometric mean of 10 observations was 16.2. It was later discovered one observation was wrongly recorded as 12.9 instead 21.9 means the actual correct value is 21.9. Instead of that it is written as 12.9 and it's calculated the geometric mean. The geometric calculate the correct geometric mean given 10 observations and the geometric mean calculated is 16.2 so what's the correct geometric mean that is what you have to calculate geometric mean is calculated like this x1 x2 so on multiplied by means x1 multiplied by x2 multiplied by so on xn whole power 1 by n this is the equation for geometric mean so x1 is given as 12.9 x1 dash means the actual value of x1 is 21.9 and geometric mean is 16.2 n is equal to 10 if you want to calculate the actual correct geometric mean we call it as g dash that is equal to so g dash means x1 dash multiplied by x2 multiplied by x3 so on x10 but we have written as x1 dash multiplied by x1 divided by x1 is there any problem with this no we are multiplying and dividing so we are having x1 dash multiplied by x2 dash multi x2 multiplied by x3 so on x10 whole power 1 by 10 this is the equation to calculate the correct geometric mean but here you can separate this x1 dash by x1 whole power 1 by 10 this can be separated and the other part can be separated x1 comma x2 means x1 multiplied by x2 multiplied by x3 so on x10 whole power 1 by 2 1 by 10 can be separated this value is already given as 16.2 if you multiply with this 21.9 is the actual value divided by 12.9 is the mistake value whole power 1 by 10 if you multiply this we will get a 17.08 this is how we calculate the correct geometric mean for the given problem hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you